Hi everybody, it's Deb from Dandy Art Gallery. Today I'm doing a voiceover. I have a 16 by 20 inch canvas where I have a two-tone base coat. And my colors are Amsterdam grayish blue and Artist Loft Flow acrylic white. My other paints today I'm using are the Liquitex ba Basic Staxazine Purple, Amsterdam, Ultramarine Violet, Amsterdam, their ex expert line, that's the Indigo, and um, Folk Art Dragonfly uh, Glaze, that's the Violet Blue Green Shift. I also have a paint, Mysterious, that I mixed up with four different paints. I'm showing that color mysterious to you right here and also the consistency it's very very thin i want to give a shout out to sarah taylor i'm using her recipe today for this is a ribbon pour with the cloud mix and a two-tone base so right now i'm going to uh, torch here so if you get a chance visit sarah taylor's channel she does beautiful work uh, with the thin paints and ribbon pours with uh, the cloud mix that she uses. She's given me a lot of inspiration lately. So here I start um, laying down my paints. And that is that indigo color. Very, very deep color. Beautiful. I will list all the pouring mediums I used for my base coat, for my paints, and also for my cloud, my two cloud colors in the description box. And here is that um, Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet, I believe. No, this is this is the violet color. I I, uh, I apologize for that. And this is the uh, color mysterious that I made up. And lastly, I am putting down the dragonfly, uh, the glaze. And as you can see, it's just white, but it gives a very shiny appearance over the over the paint that you you cover you cover. So uh, when we do our close up at the end, I will show you the um, results I got from that that dragonfly uh, glaze. Now I'm just adding a little more of my base coat to help the paint move when I do some tipping. I can tell you that the base coat was, um, I did use Floetrol, the paint, GAC, Liquitex Gloss Medium, and I did add the ac acrylic enamel paint to that. And again, I'm on the other side, I'm adding some more paint to help the paint flow. And now I'm just going to start the tipping process. You can see as I tip how very thin all the paints are they move very easily i'm pretty happy with this color palette just stretching everything out
Now I'm just taking a look at it. And I decided that I needed a little bit additional paint. I just wasn't happy with the amount of paint that was moving in these areas where I'm adding it. That was that indigo color. This is that mysterious color. Ultramar ultramarine violet. Or that could be the dioxazine purple. Yes, that's a dioxazine purple. And here's that ultramarine violet. I am adding quite a bit more paint here. And again, adding a little bit of that glaze on the top. And just a little bit more of the tipping process here. I have some of the base coat white in a squirt bottle and that's what you see me doing here. Just for a, an added effect. Just trying to um, incorporate these paints here now and uh, get it to a point where I really like the looks of the painting. Just taking a look at it here. And again, I decide that area just looks a little bit too plain. Need to add some color in there. And again, I have more base coat there. Just incorporating the paint here. I just think this is a really beautiful color palette that Amsterdam grayish blue for a base coat. I'm glad I decided to go with that along with the white. showing you my two cloud colors 
that first one is Rustoleum Metallic Accents Harbor Sky, and this one is Modern Masters Rose Quartz. And again, I will have what pouring medium I used to mix those paints in the description. And now you'll see me using my palette knife, just dipping it in those paints and, and running it through the other paints. I do most of the time clean off my palette knife in between adding those paints. You'll see me turn that palette knife to the side a little bit just to make a little bit uh, thicker line once in a while. Like I did right there. Just enhancing this painting a little more for the eye to uh, to see. Break up some of those colors. For those of you who uh, have followed me along, you know I like wispies. And I just continue to uh, keep adding those that those cloud colors there. I'd like to take this time to thank all my subscribers. You're really helping my channel grow. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider it. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video also. Share this video with any friends or art, other artists that you know of that you think might enjoy watching this process. And feel free to leave comments. I like to see comments and if you have any questions, feel free to leave questions too. Now I'm working with that blue color, the Rustoleum Metallic Accents Harbor Sky. And I think right there I'm just using a popsicle stick. Running it through a little bit thicker line. And when I try to add little lines like that, I try to go along with the flow of the, the direction the paint is already going. 
to make it look more natural, just drawing out that paint. Now I'm just adding, I believe, a little bit more of that mysterious color. And I'm using my the littlest palette knife I have right here. I think I'm just about finished up adding these lines. I really did want to break up that gray area just to give the eye a little something more to look at there. I felt it was just a little bit too plain looking. Okay, it looks like I'm done with this. I'm going to give it a quick torch here and see if I bring anything up. And now I'm going to show you how I took my straw and I just accented a lot of those lines. I drew them out to give it more color. There was a lot of really nice paint, colored paint under the white. So I'm bringing some of that up here making some of those lines more jagged. Just giving it a little more character here. 
And I'm just showing you this for a minute or two. And then I do off camera, I do this over the whole painting, as you'll see when I do my close up. But I did want to show you how this process is done, how I pulled that paint out. And what different character it gives it. like a ruffled edge. Okay, and here we are for our close up. And you will see off camera, I did do quite a bit of blowing, quite, bit, quite a bit more with the palette knife. And this is along the left-hand side. Just see how beautiful these colors played together here. This is the lower left-hand corner. <clears throat> this is a pretty area in here. See where I just blew out those paints quite a bit there. And you can see the sparkle on the mysterious color in that purple and that is that dragonfly glaze on top of those two colors you can see it pretty well here i did get some cells come up a little bit of lacing there and right here you can see how sparkly that is very very pretty and some wispies The lower right hand corner we're just going to go up the right hand side now pretty area in here you can see again how sparkly the uh, mysterious and the purples are well i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up if you did and share it make sure you ring the bell and choose all so you know the next time that I do post a new video. And subscribe if you haven't. That would be great. Until next time, take care everybody.